All right. So I already got the garden, rode it tilled again this morning, and then like spread out all the peat moss we bought yesterday, and my wife's out there planting, so the gardening stuff's done, which is great. And today I actually, I'm probably gonna have to leave the forge alone for today because I do need to get some knives out. Also, thank you guys so much for all these great tips you're giving me. Um, it's awesome. Probably one of the best ones, I think, is don't necessarily start with making a knife for your first blacksmith project. Learn the basics. That sounds like really, really sound advice. So, I, I don't know. I just started hitting this thing and somehow it kind of started looking like a knife. It just happened. It just happened. I think railroad spikes were designed to be knife shaped once they're not used as railroad spikes anymore. Anyways, guys, gonna get busy on some knives and uh, I'm also probably gonna film a grinding tutorial video today. Uh, maybe release that on the weekend, uh, like five tips for grinding. I don't know, I've got a lot of questions about it and I've got a bunch of knives to grind today so I thought what a perfect time just to kind of talk about a few things, a few tips about grinding knives. I just wrecked a knife. Um, now, I'll, I'll show you the damage. I knew I'd wrecked it before. I sneezed when I was grinding. And I was freehand grinding and I sneezed. I ended up trying something different and ended up getting really mad at the knife. So that's awesome. Um, now, it wasn't so bad. Basically, that was the part that I had wrecked and I couldn't fix it. I ended up bringing this bevel up by the time I matched this one. The edge was too thin, so I just, uh, I just got mad at it. But the point of all this is just to show that, you know what, even if you've made knives before, you're still gonna wreck knives, and it's not like once you learn how to grind a knife really well, you never make mistakes. So to all the new knife makers, and they're getting frustrated with, with mistakes and wrecking stuff, it happens to even even the most experienced knife maker. This right here is like a little pile of garbage blades. A pile of shame. Blades that are, well I end up experimenting with different acid treatments and stuff. But these are all knives that something went wrong with them and they're not good enough. Isn't it ironic that I was filming a video with like tips for better grinds and in filming that I wrecked a knife on the grinder. Anyways, the best thing for me to do usually when I wreck a knife is I have to go do something else because I get so ah, so frustrated. So uh, I'm going to go and do a bunch of packaging and shipments and get all that stuff ready. I just need to kind of step away for a bit so I don't get too frustrated and wreck anything else. So this was one of those mistake knives that I had showed you, but... I decided to give it a regrind, and I think I've evened that bevel up, so that's good. This one I started, I don't know, a year, maybe a year and a half ago. There you go. Sometimes if you go back and look at your old mistakes, you can salvage them. this chicken that went broody on us and, and what that means is that they just they like to lay on eggs and they never leave eggs alone and she'd be on like 20 to 30 eggs at a time on the weekend we found some chicks what kind of chicks are they lavender orpingtons. lavender orpingtons and we snuck in in the middle of the night and put them under her and she's convinced that these are her chicks so the nice thing is that uh, the mom, she looks after these and protects these little guys and then we still bring food and water out there but we don't have to like use a, a, a heating element. We don't have to have a special place for them to get a little bigger in like we did last year. So this is really handy. Can I please have it Thanks mama chicken. Sure. <laughs> all right, so we've got all the 
Well, my share of the gardening work done. Uh, half the garden is planted, but I can't really take any credit for it. My wife is doing like all that work, so bless her heart, she's done a great job. As far as the knives, you know what? Maybe I'll just hang this up somewhere and let it be a reminder to try not sneezing when you're making knives. But you know what, the beauty of knife making is that you make a mistake, you can move on. It's not like this one final knife was like your last knife ever and how you define yourself. Everyone makes mistakes and it's how you deal with those mistakes. If you're a new knife maker, do not feel bad. You know what, you're making knives, that's the important part. You're trying stuff, you're going to fail. You're going to wreck knives, that's a fact. And even as you get more experience, you're still gonna wreck knives. Every now and then you do a really stupid thing like sneeze while you're grinding, and boom, the knife's wrecked. Tomorrow's a brand new day, fresh start, we can make better knives tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, cheers.